Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner CPP lesson number two. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, variables. So at the end of the first uh, lesson, I mentioned a simple variable. And I want to kind of relate this to mathematics. Uh, despite this not being a math course, I do expect you guys to know at least a little bit of math. Um, to get through this, you're going to need to know addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, having a little bit of background in uh, exponents, square roots, things like that will definitely go a long way to uh, solving more complex problems as well. So with that being said, uh, I wanted to kind of run you guys through uh, how we set up variables and I'm going to show you guys one of the common pitfalls of variables. So I've gone ahead and included kind of our boilerplate template. Um, if you guys want there's actually a way that you can come up here uh, under tools templates to kind of set this as a template that we can just include right off the bat. Um, I'm actually just overwriting the same project every single time, but some of you might be setting up new projects, so that might save you a little bit of time. That being said, uh, when we think of a variable, what we think of is mathematics. We think x equals 6. We think y equals 4. And then we think of something like s x plus y equals 10. And so variables in C++ are really no different than that. There's nothing to them that really kind of jumps out as being different. We declare them like saying int x equals 6, int y equals 4. And these are totally okay statements for us to make. So there's two big downsides uh, to this. Now, number one, uh, I just want to mention one thing before we go on. Anything with a slash slash at the beginning of the line like this is known as a comment. Uh, comments are basically used to make a note uh, inside of a program. And that note gets completely disregarded. The, the compiler doesn't pick it up. It skips right over it and pretends it isn't there at all. So whenever you see a slash slash like this, that means ignore what's about to happen. And similarly, when you put a slash star like this, this is a multi-line comment. Same thing. So it's slash star and then star slash to reopen. Uh, your stuff. So I'm just going to leave those there um, because those are comments. Now the other thing is when we use comments we we want to use as few of them as possible because if we go like this is our first variable and then you know similarly we copy paste this and go this is our second variable we're going to end up with a million comments in long programs and and nobody's going to read our comments and then when we actually have something important it's going to be lost uh, because people won't be reading our comments anymore instead we should try to name our variables something more meaningful so you can have uh, different things like items on hand you can have uh, number of students and and things like that so let's say uh, we also have uh, class size I I don't like using the word class inside a C++ but um, I will in this case and we're also going to use what's called a float meaning a floating point number and we're going to call this percent involved. And that's going to equal uh, number of students divided by class size. 
And I just want to point something out to you guys real quick. Uh, you'll notice that when I'm doing my variable names, that I'm starting the first word with the lowercase, and then every other word starts with an uppercase. This is uh, a naming convention inside of most programming languages. It's known as a uh, camelback notation. And basically, what that means is uh, exactly what I just said. Lowercase first, and then every other word that's in you know your variable name is uppercased. It's basically so we can give descriptive variable names and sort of understand their intention, uh, but being able to re read it. Because if I end up with, perhaps I'm not the best at naming variables, and I end up with number of students, inside the classroom. I mean that that's really hard to read. And variable names can't have spaces in them. Uh, so if I try to do something along the lines of int my first variable, I can't I can't do that. It has no idea what I'm trying to do. So that's why we're kind of left with this camelback notation. Um, not to mention it would be utter chaos if you had spaces and variable names. Um, and we'll get more into why later. But for now, I want to show you guys uh, a really common error. Uh, let's say that the reason I, I have this set up is, uh, let's say there was a fight. And there were six students involved in this fight uh, out of a class of 31 people. And so we're going to say the percentage of students involved in this fight was and then we're going to do percent involved uh, then we'll do another set of uh, quotation marks percentage sign and end L um, so if we look, there's there's two things wrong with this right now. Uh, one of them is fairly obvious. Now, for those of us that do math, we know that a percentage is when we multiply by 100. So it has to be out of 100%. So we're going to toss some parentheses around here and multiply that by 100. And so that should be OK, right? because we're basically taking a floating point number, or uh, a storage type that's capable of holding a floating point number. We have two integers, number of students and class size. We're dividing those, and then we're multiplying by 100. And so we should get the percentage. Now, the reason why this isn't going to work, and it's going to give us 0%, despite our math being completely sound, is really really difficult um, because when we have integers this doesn't come out to 0 0.0 maybe 17 or 18 or whatever it's going to be this actually simply comes out to 0 um, in integer mathematics there's no such thing as a decimal so it looks at the first number which is 0 and after that, it goes, well, I don't care about the rest. That's it. I'm done. I've done my work. And then we multiply 0 by 100, and it's still 0. So we end up with 0%. So if we change both of these ints to type float, we then come up here, and we run. And now all of a sudden, it's 19.3548. And so... The reason I showed you guys this is just to show you how easy it is for a bug to come in. There's only six students. There's no decimal point on it. The class is only 31 students. There's no decimal point on that. But if we need something divided, or if we need a percentage done at some point, we can't use integers. Now, there is another way to do this uh, that I'm going to get into next lesson called casting. Casting is when we temporarily treat uh, a variable of one type like another. So we'll get into that next time, but for now I just wanted to leave it off like this. Um, 
I've taught you guys how to declare your variables. I've taught you guys a couple of different types, uh, int and float. And we've output the variable that we made. We uh, covered camelback notation. So if you guys have any questions, please post them down below. Thanks.